Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve an absolute value equation. Now here, I'm just going to go through one example. So if you just need a quick review, this should help. If you're looking for more examples or a more detailed explanation, check the description for more videos. My suggestion, start with the intro to absolute value equations if you are new to this. Let's jump into our example where we have two times the absolute value of g plus seven equals 20. Now the first thing that we need to do when solving an absolute value equation is to isolate the absolute value. So get it by itself on one side of the equation. We are multiplying the absolute value by two, so we need to undo that. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So let's divide the left side by two. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by two as well. Now on the left side, these twos cancel each other out. So we have the absolute value of g plus seven equals, and then on the right side, 20 divided by two gives us 10. So now we have the absolute value of g plus seven equals 10. The absolute value is now isolated. And now that it is isolated, we know that the absolute value of g plus seven has to equal 10. This gives us two possibilities two scenarios. So we will have two solutions. G plus seven can either equal 10 or negative 10 because the absolute value of 10 is 10 and the absolute value of negative 10 is 10. So we need to write two equations. We have G plus seven equals 10 or G plus seven equals negative 10. Now we need to solve those to get our solutions. Let's start with g plus seven. So let's isolate that variable of g. So we need to subtract seven from the left side. That means we need to subtract seven from the right side. These sevens cancel each other out. G is now isolated, so we have g equals, and then on the right side, 10 minus seven gives us three. So G equals three. Now let's solve G plus seven equals negative 10. So let's subtract seven from the left side and the right side. These sevens cancel each other out. So G is now isolated, G equals, and then on the right side, negative 10 minus seven gives us negative 17. So G equals negative 17. So those are our two solutions. Now let's check those solutions by plugging them in for G and seeing if they work. So we can come to the side here. So we have two times the absolute value of three plus seven equals 20. And then two times the absolute value of negative 17 plus seven equals 20. And let's start with two times the absolute value of three plus seven. Three plus seven is 10. So we have two times the absolute value of 10. The absolute value of 10 is 10. So now we have two times 10, which is 20. So we are correct there, G equals three. Let's do two times the absolute value of negative 17 plus seven now. Let's start with negative 17 plus seven. That gives us negative 10. So now we have two times the absolute value of negative 10. The absolute value of negative 10 is 10. So now we have two times 10, two times 10, is 20, so we are correct there as well. G equals negative 17. So again, our two solutions here for this example, three and negative 17. So there you have it. There's how to solve absolute value equations. 
Check the description for links to other videos on solving absolute value equations if you'd like more of an explanation or more examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.